Welcome to another Spread Cheetahs video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheetahs website. In this video, we'll see how to find linked cells in Excel. One of the great things about using Excel is the ability to create formulas that use cell references instead of actual values. In this way, I can ensure that uh, my formula is always dynamic and every time the source data or the source value changes, the formulas that use those values will be updated automatically. It also makes it easier to copy formulas either across uh, columns or down rows. Now, when I have a worksheet with a lot of calculated columns, or when I need to modify or delete a cell, I need to check the other cells that are linked to it so that I know the impact of modifying that cell or deleting it. Because if you delete a cell that has uh, that is referred to in many other places, at once all your formulas will show errors. So let's see how to find linked cells. In this uh, example, I have a number of columns here, and some have formulas, some don't. Now, if I want to change uh, the formula or change this cell, I would like to see the impact of changing this cell. So to do this, I can go to formulas, and I will click on trace precedence. So this will tell me which cells are used by this cell, meaning which cells references are, are in this cell. This is a, quite a small example. So looking at the formula, I can see that it's C4 and C1. But when I have a much larger data set, the formulas may be uh, scattered all over uh, the sheet. Now, I, the next thing I want to see is where this value is used. So I know that if I change this cell, the other cells that are dependent on it, there won't be any impact, but I need to see where this cell is used. For that, I will use trace dependence. So then I see that the new price column uses this. So while it's uh, relatively easy to see which cell these refer to by clicking in it and looking at the formula, I don't know where else the cell is used unless I use the trace dependence. So using these two very useful features, I can find out which cells are uh, linked in a worksheet. Now, if you have, uh, you can click the arrow multiple times uh, to show other precedents if the formula is then used in other places. And uh, the other thing to remember is if I click a cell like this and trace precedents where there's nothing, I will get an error message or even dependence. This one has uh, dependence in uh, multiple places. This uh, cell C5 is referred to in cell E5, F5, and G5. So using these arrows, I can find out uh, which cells are linked in Excel and how they are linked. Please read the appended article for further guidance.